<laughs> this is gonna be terrible. So you got really decent coverage on that. Really stinks. It's like silly string. This is not gonna work. I shouldn't even continue on with this. This is gonna be a disaster, but we're gonna do it anyway because science. Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy. And today we are going to compare all of these adhesives and find out which one's the best for you. We will be comparing all of these adhesives on a few different categories. Money spent, time spent, convenience, how long it takes to cover your whole tumbler, how messy it is. So we're gonna go over everything for you guys. So I have eight identical cups. These are 222s pre-prepped from the Steel Magnolia. Our project should come out with accurate data results. I have chosen eight different colors so that we can tell the difference between all of them easily. I picked colors that were all of the same kind of material so that hopefully it does not skew any of our data at the end. All right, so let's get started. I will start with Mod Podge. That has always been notoriously my go-to. So when I was making cups every day, I always used Mod Podge for my adhesive but I always needed a second coat regardless of how well my first coat was. I used to always do my second coat Again, with Mod Podge, I would just wait for it to dry, which we all know takes a long time. And then I had started doing my second coat with spray adhesive. So we're only going to do for this project one coat with Mod Podge and see how it compares to all of the other adhesives by themselves also. So Mod Podge, we can already see that we need more than one item meaning more than just the adhesive itself. You need some kind of applicator, which I always use paint brushes, something to put your paint brushes in. I'm flinging glue everywhere. So you already need to have a few other tools to use this. And that's something to keep in mind when you think about the kind of things that you are using to make your cups. We got really decent coverage on that. Because I really like vibrant colors, I would have done a second coat on this anyway. But from a coverage perspective, we're covered. I'm going to set this to the side and kind of keep track of how long it takes to dry. As far as consumption goes, you really don't use a lot of Mod Podge. I didn't measure it out, but you really use a tiny bit. All right, let's go into our spray adhesive. I used to use this for re-sticking my silhouette mats. So this always doubled for me. It was always easier for me to just get one. All right, let's start with Krylon. These are not typically something you're going to want to spray inside. I spray them inside over top of this box. So we are going to do Pot of Luck with Krylon. So when I am spraying so that I don't do too many layers on either side, I always pick some kind of marker. So I usually use my grip and I'll probably use this little barcode up here and this little flat guy so I know that I've made a full circle. Let's see how it holds up. Right off the bat, we got significantly less coverage than the Mod Podge. I'm just going back over it again and seeing if I can get any of this glitter to stick to any part that may still be tacky. And that's just a technique that I do with any adhesive, not something different I'm doing just for the spray glue or anything. And the inside of my cup is sticky from spraying it. I could have taped off the inside of my cup or used one of my tumbler shields, but that would have just been an added step. Let that sit and dry. Haha. -ha. I do enjoy the nozzle on the Krylon, but the coverage was not as good as the Mod Podge. Loctite. Hate Loctite. I hate the nozzle. I hate the way it sprays. I'm pretty sure it was more expensive than the others. But from a coverage perspective, I have no idea. The blue, the can's blue. It just makes more sense. I like it. So far, I don't hate it. This one is also a repositionable one. I'd say pretty similar, but already I can see the coverage is definitely not as good as the Mod Podge, but also not as good as the Krylon, and it smells worse. 
that Loctite is not your go-to. Avoid it at all costs. Did not come out good at all. Eileen's Tacky Spray. I have never used this on a tub. Oh, there is, there's a hole. This is gonna be terrible. This is not going to look good. I shouldn't even continue on with this. This is gonna be a disaster, but we're gonna do it anyway because science. It's like silly string. This is not gonna work. I don't know if you can even pick that up on camera. There's no way this is gonna get glittered and it stinks. It stinks so bad. It's thick in some places. It's all over the cup handle. Okay, so Eileen's Tacky Spray has been disqualified from the running. This is a horrible spray job. I do understand why we are not using Tacky Spray on cups and it really stinks. I'll find some other use for that at another time. Gorilla Glue. For most of this year, actually, I have been using Gorilla Spray Adhesive as my second layer because it's all I had and I didn't hate it. So we'll see. I enjoy the way that that laid on this tumbler. I think we are going to have a pretty decent outcome. It smells, but it probably smells, I think, the least out of all of them so far. Gorilla glue is not holding up. Haha, <laughs> that's a glue pun. It's not good for your tumblers. And if you were anywhere in 2019, you understand it's no good for your hair either. This is absolutely horrible as far as coverage goes. All right, Gorilla Glue. We appreciate your efforts, but you didn't do much. But I do have to say again, it did smell the least. All right, we got three more left. So this was my other go-to. The only difference between this one and the Krylon that would make me choose it was the current price at the time. Uh, and then the fact that this I also used to restick my mat, but I don't have to restick my mat too often. I'd say the odor on the Elmer's Craft Bond is almost non-existent also. It's not the Krylon coverage, that's for sure. And it's not the Mod Podge coverage. That one's holding up as the absolute best overall, but it's not the worst out of the spray adhesives, that's for sure. Another thing that you have to remember about spray adhesives is it's really kind of tricky to tell where you have missed any spots, kind of like when you spray paint a tumbler, you know, you always have to go back a few times and space it out in between because it'll just be too wet and too thick to work with. So it's almost, almost impossible to always get a good coverage of glue period with spray adhesives in my opinion. My next one to try is my new favorite and that is UV resin. So what I love about UV resin is that years ago when I started making tumblers, epoxy method was the newer method out, but I hated mixing it. I hated applying it. I hated how long it took to cure. So UV resin kind of takes all of the things that I hate out of epoxy method and makes them all go away because it cures in under two minutes usually. I am gonna measure this out. I don't usually measure it out, but I am curious to see exactly how much it takes to cover the cup. So that's seven and a half milliliters. Typically, I believe five milliliters is kind of what we use for the epoxy method. So let's see what happens. Let's use Blurple. So with UV resin, if you have not used that as an adhesive, it's super easy. You just apply it to your tumbler, apply your glitter or whatever it is that you are adhering to your item and throw it under your UV lamp. You do need a very thin coat, just like if you were doing the epoxy method. You can pour this into a cup and apply it to your tumbler. You can pour this directly from your bottle to the tumbler. We will need to use our cup turner and our UV light to cure it. And already it's beat all the spray adhesives, but I expected it to beat all the spray adhesives. Even if I had used the same exact color as any of the other ones, I still believe that we would have gotten all the same outcomes. I don't think that that changed anything about this, even though it is a darker color. So I'm going to pop this under my UV light real quick and it probably should only take maybe 30 to 40 seconds to cure and cure. So as far as UV resin goes, we are exactly at the five line. So, I mean, we used almost no UV resin in the grand scheme of things. 
That was something that a lot of people had feedback for was that they thought using UV resin as an adhesive and or a sealant would be more expensive. But I do not believe that from the amount, just from the amount of UV resin we used, which was what, two and a half milliliters, um, which would be the probably equivalent or a little bit less than epoxy and the time alone that we saved because we just saved a ton of time glittering that cup. When that comes out from the UV light, it will be more adhered. It's not really the term I wanted, but it's what we're going with. No matter what happens with these cups, I would seal these cups before I epoxy them for the glitter shed. Whereas my UV resin cups, I do not seal them at all before I epoxy them. It, you really get no shed from them. Last but not least, my absolute least favorite way to apply glitter is the epoxy method. So obviously epoxy is always going to take the most supplies because you have to mix the epoxy. That is also done and we are not getting any shed from it. I will pull that out in a minute. We're gonna mix it in the measuring cup anyway. So, so far we needed a measuring cup, epoxy, a stir stick. Mine is a reusable stir stick, so at least I can pull the epoxy off of this. But there's also the popsicle sticks that you can use, which would, uh, you know, have to get thrown away afterwards. All things to think about when you are deciding what is the right adhesive for you. This is regular curing epoxy that we are using, but you could absolutely use fast set for this. All right, so we have not used Phenomenal Cosmic Power yet, so let's use that one. So this is five milliliters total of epoxy, and I do not believe that we'll use entirely the whole cup. Same as the UV resin, we are going to apply a very thin coat, as thin as you can get it. You might use the whole five. Five's still not a ton to use, but you have to add in the time that it took you to measure that out, mix it, which is not crazy amount of time, I would at all costs avoid using spray adhesive if I have a taped off cup. It doesn't, it almost never works out well for me when I am pulling tape with a spray adhesive. Even if it's just my second coat, I usually wind up pulling up some of the design and the glitter and I hate it. Mod Podge works fabulous with pulling up tape. You have to wait like five, 10 minutes for it to dry a little bit. UV resin, pull it right away. Epoxy, I, I'm rusty on it, because again, this was my least favorite way, but I'm pretty sure you wait about 40 minutes to pull your tape for epoxy. But the coverage is phenomenal. I will have to get that on my cup turner sooner than later. So you can see the UV compared to the epoxy and they're pretty similar, if not the same on coverage. My UV cup, however, is dry. This is done. If I needed to do a next step, I could already do it with this cup. This one is absolutely not dry. This will take, I don't know, probably six hours to cure in total. And I'm going to have to put it on my cup turner, make sure everything dries evenly. These three obviously were my winners. And even this Mod Podge one, like this, I would be nitpicking if I did a second layer on this one. All right, guys, so these were my favorites from the video in order that they are my favorites. UV resin, obviously the winner for me always between materials used and time consumption when you mix the two together. This one is my favorite. Mod Podge, I always love Mod Podge. I will never leave it alone. I love the control that you get from it. I know that it takes a little bit more time to dry, but I really enjoy the coverage. Epoxy method, it's there. It's there if you need it. I hate mixing epoxy. If I didn't hate mixing epoxy, this method would be a lot more better for me. So if you don't hate mixing epox epoxy, it might be the one for you because your coverage is great and it's stuck on there. You're not gonna need to really seal it. As far as spray adhesives go, Krylon was my favorite. You can see the fingerprints from where I kind of ran my finger down them to see about the glitter shed. These do not really have much of a glitter shed to them, if not none at all. Even the Mod Podge, you can see barely any shed. These ones, clearly a huge shred. Eh, shed. Krylon is the only one I think worth mentioning out of them by name that is my favorite. Uh, although you could see that some of it had shed off, I would still make this work and the smell and the way that it applied was not so bad. These three, 
I would not recommend for any kind of adhesive unless you were doing a second layer with maybe Mod Podge or an ombre. But as for just the initial application, Gorilla Glue, especially Tacky Spray, is that what we're calling it? Tacky Spray, Loctite, and uh, my favorite, the Crafter, uh, Elmer's Craft Bond, I do not recommend for any kind of initial layer. You could see that they did not get good coverage. I would say all three of them were about the same and the shed is crazy. If this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can see more things that we put out and I hope this really helped you guys.